guys, I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. And I'm Paul Kidwell. Welcome to the Geek Group, where once again we are here in the beautiful basement of the Science Building in our Cayenne Mountain bunker. And what have you got today? I have something that you've been asking for. This is the follow-up to all the hard drive videos, isn't it? Yes. You wanted an MFM drive. I did. I did. That's not an MFM drive. No, it's not. It's SCSI 2. It's a brick. But this is what hard drives used to look like a million years ago. Okay. This is a full height drive. Is it functional? Not anymore. Oh. I've already played with this one. Okay. You've this had is, it open? Yes. This is what the first hard drives they had were 10 meg drives, and this is kind of what they looked like. And this is... That's a much more modern... Yes, it's a much more modern, full height, yeah. full size drive. But it's a model ST410800W. Okay, how big is it? I have no idea because whatever it was, it's not anymore. <laughs> okay. This drive has already been dissected once. This is and one it, for the, the uh, gyroscopes. Yes, we made this into a gyroscope. We opened it up. This had five and a quarter inch platters. We took all the platters out. We took all the spacers out. Mm -hmm. Then we put all the platters back in, and then we put more platters back in. <laughs> so it's solid platters, top okay. to bottom. The uh, stepper motor that used to be located in this area is gone. There's open holes now. I noticed there's, on, on the bottom here, there's a lot of wires going yes. through to the spindle motor. Very big spindle, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, God, that's heavy. I was thinking we could take this apart and show what we did on the insides. Sure. Um, I got them over here. Do we have a, can we spin this up? Yes, we will, but right. we'll, we'll take it apart and put it back together again. Okay, yeah. But it's all service mount componentry, and we keep this intact so the motor will spin up. I, I was going to turn that so square. Okay. It's my OCD kicking in. All right, well, I'm going to take it and show there's a torque screw over here. Now, we want to save all these and not throw them across the room because... Yeah, this actually has to go back together. This goes back together again. That's like a first for our show. Yeah, we generally <laughs> we do autopsies, but we don't put them back together again. Or well, we just Most of the stuff we have to work on, we have to put back together again. But you know, for, for the videos, it's definitely more of, let's take it apart and see how it works. Well, we're doing a little more than that this time around. So the first thing we took off is I'm the, just watching. the outer frame. You're going to just watch I'm it. I'm just watching. Yeah, okay. funny. This, this, is, this is your project. Okay. I like the, man, I wish the I shock had a couple hundred of those. Yeah. Nice, solid shock mounts. Okay. We need to get the... Oh, this one's yellow. Oh. All the shock oh, mounts are blue one. except that one. That one's yellow. I have no idea why. I, neither do I. There may be another drive floating around here that has a bunch of yellow ones, and one of them's blue. I'm trying to find a date on there. Uh, the, sticker, on the sticker on the end over here might have a date on it. No, I got nothing. You got nothing? I got nothing. I'm looking, I'm thinking we got a connector under there. Yeah, it's got to be, it's... There it is. You found it. And there's a connector over there. No, it's glue. It it's, was just glue, it's glue. Okay. Wow. We got a lot of screws. I want to slide this That's over. That's as small as they get and still have that kind of look to them. There's a snap ring of some sort that's been floating around in there. Can I do those? I only got one screwdriver. Yeah, I know. But I can spin them no, up. No, hang on, hang on. You got another one? I have... This is a T10. T10? Okay, give me a second. It's eight. I don't know what those are. I don't have duplicates in those. Okay. But I have this really cool thing that we just got.
That's a very nice, I was noticing that it's a very nice little tool. Cobalt, it is. Cobalt makes good stuff. I, I like Cobalt tools. Of, of all the big box store brands of tools, I like Cobalt the best. Now if we could get, you know, Cobalt or Lowe's as a sponsor, that'd be pretty cool. That would be good. Cool. You, you, need, you need to make some phone calls. I'm ready. You ready? We'll get that one. It's the last one. Yeah, I'll let you do the last one. <laughs> Bless you. You gotta take that middle one out. I'm pretty certain you do. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty. Now, so is, this... Is that a countermate? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Now, there's our platters. You'll notice there's one thing missing. There's no heads. There's no heads. The heads have been removed. Because we didn't need that. Because we didn't need that. Now, the idea here was to make a large spinning mass with really good bearings and whatnot. Yes, we wanted a gyroscope. gyroscope. So, a gyroscope is what we got. I wish I had a dozen of those drives. I think we only have like two or three of them, don't we? We only had two. Now, if we only had two when we started, does the other drive have no platens in it at all? No, we had five and a quarter inch platens are a standard size. Okay. So I just well, had not been- anymore. Well, I had been collecting platens for quite some time. That's the power supply board there. That's the motor con drive controller. Now, do we even need the we big lug? We definitely need, need this. We need the little one, but do we need the big well, one anymore? Well, the big one is the power supply to go from your 12-volt, 5-volt connector to here, and then the motor drive control is in here. You can okay. see the probably MOSFET drivers, but that goes down to the connector okay. that powers the drive. What else are you taking off here? No, I'm taking the end cap off. Oh, okay. Whole thing? Uh, yeah, there's only six screws for the end cap. And here. they're on there. Yes, yes they are. This is cool. I gotta find some of the big giant, like the AS400 Cartridge, size. cartridge module drives. No, I don't want the cartridge, I want the big, the big ones like this, but they're like, you know, a full rack width, and okay. they weighed like, you know, 50, 80 pounds per hard drive. Not the ones with the removable platens. These were, but they'd have dual head actuators that were straight line actuators. They were linear motors. Okay. I took a pair of those and made really big subwoofers out of them. <laughs> the ones with the, the, they were made like in a 55 gallon drum. I still have those in the lab. There we go. Okay, now. Oh, that's sexy. Here, let's, the, uh, let's get a look in there. It's a full stack and it, and it spins. You can see it turns yeah. out. That's as far apart as we're going, because that's showing what we needed to see. Yeah, that, that you, can, you can see all the platens in there. That's really yes. good. We've, I want to spin this up. Can we spin it up open? There's no reason why we can't. All right. I, do you want to change seats? I've got a 12-volt power supply No, right I got, I'm, I'm all set. Oh, you have a power supply? I, I came prepared. See? That's why we love you. All right, I'm going to put logic boards together here. All right. Turn that off. I have power already run. I need the other board. I know you do. Hold on, I'm going to the other board. Okay. Thank you, sir. Now, this is going to be kind of precariously sitting there. Oh, yeah. So. Really? That little dinky connect? We've got these giant wires off to the board here. Okay, yeah. down here. We've got these little, little bit. we got big giant wires here for power. We got whole bunch of pretty good sized wires down here, and then just this little wheelie connection up here. Yep. That's it. Yeah, it's dumb. Okay, we're going to turn that around like this. Here, pull, pull a close up right down in there. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get the... Yeah, we'll, we'll put that there so they can see both. Now you can see the platens right here. There's the spindle. All right. Okay, I'm holding everything away. All right. Are we ready? Kick it one time, G.
It's, it takes a while a, to get yeah, there, doesn't it? <laughs> there's a vibration to it. Well, normally the thing would weigh a lot less. Yeah. And it's still, it's still accelerating, up. yeah. Wow. It's still accelerating. All right, shut down, shut down. I gotta, I'm gonna take my mic off and get that audio. Is it off? It's gonna take a while to spin down. It's off. Wow. I'm squeezing on that too, like, like burning my, all right, I'm gonna take my mic off. Clip it right onto the frame. No, the, the vibration's too high. That's all the right. idea. <laughs> no, I don't wanna, it'll, I, no. You damage your I'm mic? I'm just gonna hold it right here. All right, you ready? Now, we'll, we'll put a clock in the video at this moment. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. There's a little delay between when you hit it and it comes on. Oh, yeah. That's a SCSI. Yeah. So they stagger them by ID number. It's like the stuff on the desk is vibrating, too. Still going. Yeah. That sounds there. like about it. Yeah, that's it. That wow. is awesome. <laughs> that's a. That's gotta be like it's it's over five pounds. Oh yeah, this is it's it's machined uh, casing. It's yeah. not like the thin. The no, this this stuff. was cast and then machined down. Yeah. But it's I'm talking about like the rotational mass. There's so much just metal there. Yeah. That's yeah. gotta be. Every bit of two, three inches thick. Now the whole bit with them using some of the windings is a generator to do the head cocking. Yeah. I don't know if that's happening here, but I'm quite certain that that thing is going to generate a little more power. There's, no, there's dynamic braking of some sort happening there. Yeah. Because you could hear it definitely go from when you first turned it off, it was really, it was still totally coasting. And then, and it, it hit a point when it just super okay. slowed down. Like, watch, bring it up meaning, again and you meaning can Meaning your, your fingers probably didn't do a whole lot of braking last No, time they around. didn't. Watch, like, we'll let it spin up here. Stir it up. Don't make a sound. Just let it go, and you'll you'll hear it definitely I, hit I, a point. I heard it. All right, let's Here go. We go. on hard drive. <laughs> Alright, I'll put my mic back on here. Okay, now. Hey, next time you get us custom made shirts, get a buttonhole sewn in down here. In now, side. feel that. Oh, it's toasty. Wow, yeah. yeah. Well, those are all those drive things. And they're spinning a heavier mass. Than and there's there. six of them, mm -hmm. so. That makes sense. There's, there's probably 12 wires. You think that's six phase or three phase? I think it's six phase. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. I think so, yeah. All right, that's we so will. Beefy. We're going to put it all back together now? We're going to put it all back together again. All right, I'll, work, I'll put it together. You talk about why we built this and what for and all that. And once I get all together, we'll do the okay. corner demonstration. Okay. This is the end? These are the six for the end cap, yes. All right, now two of these are countersunk. Yeah, and there's a countersunk one there, and a countersunk ah, one okay. there. Ah, okay, I got it. 
Cool. All right. Well, the original concept was we wanted to have a suitcase that had a battery in it. Keep talking. Okay. These are two different sizes. Just keep talking. That one fit everything except yeah. that one. Everything else was that size. Anyhow, we wanted a suitcase that you could walk up and set it on its corner and hit a button and hold it and let the thing spin up and then let go of it and it would balance on the corner. And to do that, you're going to need a couple of gyroscopes you know, at angles so they don't process. But this was the first real attempt at even coming up with something like that. This right now is running off of a uh, ATX power supply. I have it uh, hot wired. If you jumper the uh, black and green wire, it'll turn on and stay on. Um, we needed it to run off of battery power. So, oh, where's it hiding? There it is. We came up with a little power supply board. This will take 12 volts in and supply 5 volts out. So you put the hard drive and a 12 volt battery in a suitcase and the thing will spin up. What is that? So that's a little, it's a, it's a 5 volt regulator. This is okay. an LM117K in an old TO3 style case with a nice big beefy heat sink on it. And there's a little trimmer down here. So that takes here. car battery and turns it into hard drive. It takes, well, it takes 12 volts and turns it into 5 volts. Okay. That way, you know, a, normal, a normal supply has a 12 volt, two grounds, and a, a, a 5 volt. It's my next piece. Your next piece is this circuit card that just folds over the end. And there are three screws to hold it on. So all we need is that, this, and a battery, and we're set. All we need is that, this, and a battery. We don't even need the ATX. We don't even, no, we don't need this at all. That's beautiful. So the only thing we really need in addition to what we have is a switch to turn it on and off. You know what that tells me? What's that? We need to go buy a suitcase. We need to go buy a suitcase. A really nifty looking metal aluminum suitcase. A spy suitcase. Zero Halliburton. Zero Halliburton should be a, a sponsor, too. Halliburton, like... Halliburton, Halliburton? I think it is Halliburton, like Halliburton, Halliburton, but they're the ones that make zero cases. Okay. And those are the nice aircraft aluminum. That, that's what we want. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about Halliburton here, so naturally their spy stuff is going to be good spy <laughs> stuff. I mean, be serious. <laughs> next. Okay, next would be this circuit card, and you're going to have to... Uh, On top. Oh, the, the lid. Yeah, I need the lid first. Okay, I'm not certain. There's a notch there. I'll figure it out. And I think that lines up with this hole. 180 degrees. Yeah, the notch has to go that way because it doesn't match that hole. There's three flat sides on this too, which should be kind of a giveaway. There you go. Okay, and those are... Hold on. We're getting our screws mixed together. I'm pretty certain. That has countersunk ones. Yeah, and those are not countersunk, so it's okay. got to be those. One, two, three. I have four countersunk ones that were for that frame, and then four non countersunk, which are for this circuit card. Okay. I'm just going to do my screws here. So we, we need a case, Paul. This is something that we're, it's so close to being done, we could finish this maybe in time for uh, the next hall visit. And That's a possibility. Have it for a demo. That could be pretty cool. Just saying, it'd be neat to do for a demo. We, we've got the technology. We have the technology. And it would be cool to just walk downtown and set a case on edge on like a street corner and walk mm -hmm. away from it and let people like have that moment. What the hell? Just it's not, point. well, th the way this is, It'll process because well I, I got. That's I, what we want though is the case to process. I, I want to, okay. I, I want to like be able to walk downtown with a metal suitcase, flip a switch on the handle, set it down on a corner, and have it just sit there. If you get it balanced really really well, freak people out. It'll process for a while, 
but if you're off on the balance a little, it'll spin fast and settle down quick. Okay. I've, I've done some experimentation. Okay. Well, we'll have to work on this. I'm sure we can get it balanced. Okay. There's some indents on the other side that'll where it'll line up with. Yeah, the, there's a lot yeah. of indentation, so it tells me that's the, the other side. Yes. Now connect her first and then settle in place. And yeah. four screws. Do I have to count them like you did? Oh, wait a minute. Did you tighten the middle one? Yes, I did. Did you have the tool for it? I used this one. It wasn't quite the right size, but it's good enough. Okay. It's not like reef down tight, but it's snug. Do, do I have to count my screws too? No. I'm, you know, I'm really curious where this little ring came from. Inside. I know it came from inside, but it, it was flopping around inside there for some time. Talk, this is boring. Okay, this is boring. Well, I'm putting bolts in a I don't have much else to say. I mean, this is a simple, straightforward project. I mean, we turn a hard drive into a, a gyroscope. What I can tell you is... Talk about something. We did it twice. So we're going to make two cases? I did two. No, we're going to make one case. It's going to have two gyroscopes in it so that it's in twice the strength. Okay. Okay, yeah, your next. No, 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 no. Your next. Your frame. The frame. Oh. Flip that over. Oh, I don't have to be delicate. It doesn't even have heads in it. Yeah. It's just heavy and you don't want to hurt yourself. One, two, and then one on each side. Okay. Now. When we first did this, I put the hard drives in bottom to bottom. So one spindle was spinning clockwise and the other one was spinning counterclockwise. Did you check this and make sure? Yes, I did. Okay. And the question for you was, what would happen having gyroscopes go in opposite directions? Were they both in the same plane? They were both in the same axis. Nothing. Would they process or would they not? They would not. And originally you said they would. Yeah, but I was much younger then. You, you were much younger. Know. Basically what happens is the force is summed to zero. So basically you didn't have a gyroscope anymore. You had the masses spinning, but it's the same mass spinning opposite directions. You wound up with zero forces on your gyroscope. You are done. Okay, I am going to set this back in. And it goes like that. Did you just send my ring for a ride? I was trying to record it. Oh, well, then, naturally. Yeah, okay. Perfectly in line. Totally acceptable. I think these are two different sizes. And the small ones with the washers go on the top holes, and the big ones go on the bottom holes. Got a flat blade? Get the bigger flat blade. That's a small flat blade. It's not all that great. Thank you. Okay, you talk for a while. Um, about oh, you can tell them about my hair. Huh? I got my hair done this morning. Who did, who did my hair? Did we do the? Oh yes. Um, because I'm like, Wait, who the hell cares about your hair? I mean, yeah. It's like uh, <laughs> we. Were Okay, I recently had surgery. Actually, it was two years ago, almost to the day. Yes. And I had a row and Y bariatric or gastric bypass. And row and Y is French for modification in the form of the letter Y, which God only knows how they came up with that for a name, but basically they turned my insides into a Rubik's Cube and moved things around. Today's Fat Bastard was brought to you by the letter Y. Yes. Well, that caused me to lose 140 pounds, and there's a protein absorption issue. And your hair is made out of protein. So in the videos I was noticing, especially from that angle over there, it's like you can see right down through to the dome. So okay. 
You got a lot of dome. You know? Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm hoping. And really, I got no sympathy whatsoever about any manner of receding hairline yeah, you so may your have. Your hairline isn't receding that bad. I turn, got. Turn around. I got, let me check. I got. I got. Oh, I got. I'm <laughs> fine in the back. Got, oh God, did you miss that? I totally did not. <laughs> did I miss something? Oh, I, yes. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> turn around. Let me check. Yeah, I still don't get it. Your hairline's receding. It's receded so far that I got to see from the back. Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> it's like I just it's you're you're, you're reaching you're, for the comedy and it's just not there. Oh, it was there. I mean, I'm sure there's like five toothless people in Idaho who thought that was the funniest shit ever. Actually, I that mean, was a line from a uh, I Love Lucy show. And the crowd laughed. Who? <laughs> Now see, that was funny. That's your comedy, right there. That's... <laughs> okay. Let me tighten down one more <laughs> screw here and we'll be set to go. And not for nothing, but I think the laughter on I Love Lucy was canned. Uh, no, they did a live audience. They did a live audience? They didn't have canned laughter okay. yet. That was that old. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I seen have... I Love Lucy since I was like five, dude. Oh, let's see. I'll just hook it up direct. I have two power connectors. I'm going to plug in there. Now and these are plug in there. both spinning the same direction. These are spinning the same direction. The spindles are offset. You can see it's right the spindles there. Over there. Yeah. There's the spindle. They're on pretty much on it. These so, are the same drive, so the both spindles are right there spinning yes. the same direction. So basically I'm going to put the spindles towards the bottom end of the drive. I'm going to stand it up right. like this. I'll hold it. You turn on. Oh wait a minute. We got to let it. It's going to. It's, it's going to take a moment. It's going to take a moment. Okay. I love that sound. That sound is just mm -hmm. awesome. It's kind of like the sound of uh, you get in an airplane and bring everything up, and you hear all the gyros come up. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's a sound of manly happy. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> okay, when we let go of this, it's going to want to move. And it's going to want to move in ways you don't think it's going to want to move. It's going to want to turn. Yeah, it's going to want to spin around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah, it's going to want to go that way, I think. <laughs> we need to build a really big gimbal for this. The more balanced you are, the, the longer it'll... That's so cool. You know what we need to do? Now this, this is my question. We've got... A motor driver board on here and everything, and I see some big caps in that. Now, what do we got to do to change the frequency of the motor drive to it's make these spin faster? It's software in here. Then let's figure out how to modify that because we want these to spin faster. Like, what's the RPM on these now? Are these 10,000 RPM spin? Oh, no, drives, no way. These things are way too old. Okay, I, so I these are like 5,400 RPM. I'd be surprised. They're probably 5,400 RPM. Okay. Our little connectors are getting all bent up here from things. I think it'll be all right. Yeah. But we need to figure out how to, how to make these spin faster. Okay. Because if we could get these up to 10,000 RPM, I think it'd work a lot better. All right. It will take some, actually what it'll take, because we've got the mass as high as it can go. I, I wouldn't it's try like to it make doesn't, the controller it doesn't, spin it. It doesn't want to move the way I want it to move. Um, right down in here is the connector that goes to the drives. Okay. And you can see we have access to the pins that are yeah, visible yeah. in there. Um, what we have to do is find out, um, it's, it's like an H bridge where you're feeding and grounding opposite pairs of the windings. Yes, okay. A winding has two conductors going to it and it's like feed ground and that winding gets energized and that shuts off and the next one and the yeah. next one and it's in series. And if we had like an eight channel oscilloscope we could 
figure that right out. Yes, well, that's kind of one of the things we're going to have to do is take a scope and plot out exactly what... we don't what, have a six-channel scope. Well, we'll make do. It's like we'll figure out... We've <laughs> okay. we got two channels. We'll start with one and use it to get the second one and then compare the first to the second and then the first to the third and the first to the fourth and it'll okay. get us all of them eventually. It'll just take a little work. Okay. Um, I went looking on the internet to find out, you know, the, the, the pinouts for that type of connect, because it's a standard. The 12 wire stepper motor is kind of a standard item, but I haven't seen the drive pattern for it okay. anywhere. But I've been if looking that's for a, it. If a 12 wire stepper motor is a standard item, then 12 wire stepper motor power supplies should be a standard okay. item. Okay. I should be able to take that and write the software for. Because what I'm wondering is, can we just get rid of all the drive stuff entirely and get our own, you know, make our own driver for it? Remember this? Yeah, yeah, the, the Geek 3 That LED processor project. has more than enough capability to drive these things. We all just we need to do is make an, an Interbroy faceboard to go from that 12 pin connector to this brain. Then we can set the speed to With whatever. With a separate power supply, because that, that isn't going to have enough power to do it, but it's smart enough to do it. Oh, no, this is just the this is just the it's control. It's just the brain. Yeah, we need we need the oomph. That's twelve volt battery. This okay. stepper motor that's twelve volts running in there. Okay. So. But there's a lot more current going through here than this can hit. Well, okay, this doesn't take the current at all. This is just control. Yeah. So we had like MOSFETs or something. You need a board that's got your MOSFETs on it, and you toggle your MOSFETs in the right order, in at sequence, the right at the right time pulse width modulation and all that sort and of stuff. And with that, we could make them spin in different directions, different speeds, we, we could do anything, do anything you want. That'd be pretty awesome. Yes, it would. All right, so what else do we have to have around there? That's uh, pretty much it. I mean, it's a gyroscope. You stand it on end and it does weird things. It doesn't move that's away. That's the idea. That's the idea. All right, if anybody out there wants to be involved in this project, if you've got like a, a really just badass metal uh, like, a, like a spy case, aluminum suitcase yeah. type thing, um, when you, we're when interested. The gyroscopes are this way. If you let go of it like that, it's it, just, fall over. it just falls right over. Yeah, because you're on the plane. It's when you go across. Yeah, you have, to tilt, you have to be on a different axis. If you're on the same axis as the thing, it won't do any good. Let's oh, that's oh, beautiful. oh, that's, that's, that's working that's real good. That's what you're looking for. That's very nice. Wow, that's working. That's, really that, cool. that's that's doing better. It's slowly sinking down, and that's we're so cool. twisting our wires up in the process. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group, and I'm Paul Kidwell, and uh, we'll see you next time. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and go to thegeekgroup.org and become a member. Say, look at that. It stopped. Perfect. It's beautiful. God, that was fun. No, we'll turn this off and go have a break, and when we come back, it'll be ready to move. <laughs>